Hi all, I'd like to take you over a few of the features we've introduced in the latest version 2000i of Jigsaw Day Trader. Now for those of you that use the tools already you can see we've got a new icon up here and that icon is for the first of three smart gauges we're going to be adding to the product. So if I just pick an instrument, the first gauge is paste of tape and I'll move that down here and obviously the first thing you see is the big black ugly square around the gauge. Now the reason for that is we've put a transparent background on the gauge so you can actually sit it on top of existing windows. When you've got a transparent background it's kind of difficult to know where to click to resize it so what we've got we've actually got the resize in the bottom hand bottom right hand corner and the reason we make the background black is so you can actually see where to resize the window. Now for the settings of the paste of tape just a few settings. First of all is the average time. That's how long we look back to set the average pace of tape. So like a lot of the jigsaw tools, it's all based on averages. It's all self-tuning tools. So what we're saying with this is it's going to look back 20 minutes to set the scaling on the outside of the gauge. Now we're not going to tell people how we set the scaling because obviously there will be copycats of these features and we don't really want to give them a design spec. But an average look back time of 20 minutes from what we've seen so far seems about right. The needle itself here is based on this, the POT look back which is in seconds. So the needle is based on number of trades in the past 20 seconds. Now obviously with the jigsaw tools you all know that we don't believe that traders should have a million different settings to tune a tool because tools and software should be smart enough to tune themselves but there is a setting here because some markets will be more variable in terms of pace than others. So if you find a market always pegs to 100%, what you can do is you can put the tuner up like this and it will change the scaling. And that will change how it scales based on the average for the past 20 minutes. Now what we can also do, we can set the style. Now you can see there's a lot of styles here or you can choose to pick a, sh a, a shape within the theme. So this is showing all the styles within the same theme or you can just show everything. Right? So you can pick a different style if you think uh, you like something else. We've also got this reset button here. For that I'll just change the scale a little. So what the reset button does, it resets the red marker here back to the needle. So if I just uh, wait a few seconds Actually, I had to pause that, wait more than a few seconds. You can see that the red marker here resets every time the scale changes. So once the scale changes, it resets and then it sets the highest needle value. Or we can reset it and reset it to the current needle value. And what that just does, it gives you a marker of what the highest value was since the scale last changed. As with all of the jigsaw tools, you can actually set templates. So I can actually come in here, I've actually set some templates set earlier. So I've got a left hand template and a right hand template. And so for instance I might want to have a gauge that's to the right of a meter and a gauge uh, to the left of the meter. So that's the gauges or meters. I'm going to end up calling them meters even though I want to call them gauges. So as with all of the tools with Jigsaw the reason we're releasing the gauges is to get your feedback. So we wanted to release the first gauge to get your feedback, find out what features you wanted, find out how you wanted it to work, find out what you liked, find out what you didn't like, so we can make them better. So we will start developing the other two gauges now, but we want to get some feedback. So any feedback is fine for us. There's no uh, such thing as bad feedback. So even if you've got some negative things to tell us, it just helps us make the product better. So don't worry about giving feedback. Now, one of the things about the gauge I will say, like I said earlier, they are meant to be placed alongside the other tools. So let me show you what I mean by that. So you can see they actually sit on top of the other tools and that's how we meant for them to be. And um, if I just make them a little bit smaller, oh, that's a bit too small. They sit on top of the other tools. Now we do have one issue which you can see there's a white border around these gauges which we are having a chat with the technology provider of the gauges to see if we can fix that. We will 
get that done in a few weeks. But this is how we intended them to run. Now there's one other thing we released in 2000i. A lot of you might have noticed that for the Q position, you can no longer turn Q position on and off in the depth and sales. And you're probably wondering where the setting is. And the setting is in the option screens. So if you're upgrading, you will need to set the smart Q on here. Now we've changed the smart Q ahead of the Jigsaw Trade Simulator. So as you know, you can't have a good trade simulator without having a good idea of the Q position at each level. And in the Jigsaw previous version, we we're actually storing Q position at price, but not Q position for individual orders. So if we put a bunch of orders at a price now, we can actually see that each individual order has got its Q position. Obviously, this is a demo account, so the individual orders didn't actually impact the Q. So they all end up with the same queue position. With a live account, that won't happen. So we've changed the queue position. If you're missing queue position, just go to options and set smart queue here. So that's it for this version of Jigsaw. There's some other stuff, other fixes we've added. That'll be on the Jigsaw forum. But apart from that, enjoy playing with the gauges. And I'll see you in the next video.